This is Devo Jean, and I am showing you my deep fried boneless skinless chicken breasts. And I purchased them from Walmart. They came in three in a pack, and they're the three thick pieces of boneless skinless chicken breasts. And it's three big fat pieces in one pack. Okay, so I bought two of those, so I had six pieces and I soak them in vinegar and lime, real lime, not, not that fake lime juice. I cut up one lime and I squeeze the lime on the chicken while it's raw, raw and then I put the vinegar on it. So I let that sit for about five minutes, the vinegar and the lime. And I always kind of bathe up, bathe the chicken with the lime so I always like squeeze the lime juice first and then I just take the lime and just bathe it like a soap soap on the skin <laughs> and this is my fried broccoli deep fried as well and after you get after after you finish um, cleaning the chicken breast, what you want to do is get a cutting board and if you have a clean sink like mine is, I, I put the cutting board in my sink with nothing else in it because I'm, I'm such a neat freak and I clean my sink with bleach. <laughs> and I put my cutting board in the sink and I, after I clean off the chicken breast with the vinegar and lime and I rinse that off then what I do is take the breasts and I cut them in nugget size like this, like so. And I'm gonna find a knife or something so I can show you. I can't find my fork, but this is what it looks like. The sizes, I wanted to show you. See how they are? I cut them in nice sizes of nuggets. See, it's always best to cook your own food and not go to restaurants and buy those fake chicken nuggets. These are real nuggets, okay? Nice sizes. And, of course, my fried broccoli. And I usually don't eat fried food, but I had a taste for some fried broccoli and some chicken nuggets that I made myself. So after you clean the chicken nuggets, of course, you want to get a bowl, a bowl, don't critique me guys. And I use this bowl and it's heavy as stainless steel and I purchased this one from Goodwill too. This was $2 and it's a nice size iron stainless steel bowl. So what I do is I get a cup of milk and a... I'm sorry, I don't mean a cup of milk. I use half and half. Half and half. A cup of half and half and two eggs. And I mixed it in this bowl right here. Half and half milk and two eggs. Okay? So after I do that, I go ahead, after the meat is cut, I cut them in small pieces and then I soak them. Soak them for about five minutes. But keep in mind, you don't want to season the half and half in the eggs because the last that goes on the chicken is the breading part. So I already have a plastic bag with flour in it. I use self-rising flour. I already have the plastic bag. And I put the self-rising flour in there. And then what I do is season the flour with um, Goya seasoning. I love Goya seasoning. So Goya seasoning, pepper, and garlic. A little bit of seasoned salt, but that's it. I don't use salt, period. But Goya, I love cooking with Goya on anything. My eggs, fish, chicken, vegetables. And season the flour. And then after you finish soaking the chicken, you just grab the chicken out of the bowl. Grab the chicken out of the bowl because, of course, it has the half and half, and then it has the two eggs. 
So what I do, I grab the chicken, strain it with my hands, and then drop it right into the flour in that plastic bag. And I do, I put them all in there. I put them in there and I shake the plastic bag up and make sure all of them is um, saturated with the flour, covered in flour, self-rising flour. And then after that, make sure your pot is nice and hot. And I put it on the temperature on nine because I need it hot, hot. So I didn't want to waste time. So after it's hot, hot, then of course I turn the temperature down to eight. Okay, so this oil is, of course, extra virgin olive oil. And also you can use vegetable oils as well. Here's my broccoli. I use the same mixture, of course, the half and half, and the eggs mixed together. Soak the broccoli. Of course, clean the broccoli first. Cut them in half, in pieces, I mean, like bite-sized pieces. Soak them in the half and half and eggs. And then, of course, I had an extra se separate bag with the flour and the same seasoning. And I strained it and drained it and then put it in the bag and shook it up. And then, of course, I fried the broccoli as well. So there you have it. My own chicken nuggets that I didn't have to purchase from any fast food restaurants. And, of course, I always might like to cook my own food for the week. So all I have to do is put them in um, Tupperware containers or Ziplocs. And that's it and I'll just grab and go grab and go I like to cook like that because I don't have time th during the week to cook every day I do not cook every day I cook once a week or of course I'll cook um, uh, every two weeks because sometimes I cook enough food to contain you know put in a container ziplocs or Tupperware and all I have to do is just warm it up I like I love my food fresh so there you have it. This is Devel Jean. I hope you like my quick tutorial on my skinless, boneless chicken breast. And of course, my secret ingredients I've shared with you guys with half and half and two eggs. There you have it. Devel Jean. Thank you for watching.